Item number SCP-5254 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Foundation agents are to work with local authorities to limit the sale of memorabilia, costumes, and novelty items during events that feature fictional characters belonging to the Pokemon Company. A public ban on the adornment of Pokemon-related accessories will be imposed on festivals and mass gatherings, including, but not limited to, face masks, hats, colored makeup, and four bodied onesies. A special task force of MTF Epsilon 11 Nine Tailed Fox is to be deployed at future events to neutralize SCP 5254 instances that manifest in public spaces. Further efforts will be made to disrupt the Pokemon Company's global marketing and promotional infrastructure with embedded agents discrediting the franchise's popularity on social media video game websites, and within religious communities. Description SCP-5254 refers to the anomalous transformation of a humanoid or object into one of 980 fictional creatures designed by the Pokemon Company. The transformation event occurs upon prolonged, extensive adornment of fashion accessories and other pieces of clothing that specifically resemble a creature's anatomy. Postmodern dissections of SCP-5254 instances have shown the transformation event to be fatal to most organic life forms. Physically transmutating synthetic components like cotton and plastic composites into flesh, muscle tissue, and other bodily fluids comprised of foreign DNA to the point the original entity's genetic makeup is unrecognizable. The cause of an SCP-5254 transformation event is currently unknown. Update: The rate of transformation appears correlated to how closely the human subject resembles the original creature's design, as to the proximity and number of individuals wearing Pokemon-related garb. Discovery: In 2019, during the annual Pikachu Outbreak Festival in Yokohama, Japan. Eyewitness reports show a Pikachu mascot behaving erratically during the street parade segment. Mobile phone footage uploaded to social media shows a large crowd on both sides of the street adorned with Pikachu-themed hats, yellow face masks, and electric-shaped tails fastened to the backs. A column of Pikachu mascot is observed dancing down the street to the beat of the music when one of the mascots breaks formation and collides headfirst into the crowd. At least 15 other SCP-5254 transformation events follow soon after, resulting in the lockdown and evacuation of the Netomilize district, along with the request of the Foundation to apprehend and neutralize SCP-5254 instances at large. Multiple injuries were reported by the local municipal government with victims suffering blunt force trauma and severe electrical burns. A bridge test logs forward. After the incident in Yokohama, multiple D-Class were outfitted with Pokemon-themed memorabilia in a controlled environment. Number, variable, effect. 1. Pokemon Pikachu Big Face with Ears Hat. No discernible effects. 2. Pokemon Detective Pikachu Cosplay Mask Latex No discernible effect. D-Class reportedly says, This is stupid. Peppermanded. 9. d Boon Adult 1C Pikachu Animal Pajamas Researchers repeatedly ask how the D-Class is feeling. D-Class turns aggressive, results inconclusive. 17. Two D-Class dressed in Pikachu onesies Four meters apart. Tingling sensation reported in arms and legs, akin to pins and needles. 19. 4D class dressed in Pikachu onesies, holding hands. Severe migraines reported, as well as throbbing pain in the cranium and lower jaws of the face. Dull aches reported in the area of the lower back, near the tailbone. 
portions of skin turned a shade of mustard yellow. 45. All prior variables. D-class personnel screened for affiliation to Pokemon-related content. One owned a copy of Pokemon Yellow when he was 12. Another possessed a level 4D account on the popular app Pokemon Go. Muscle spasms reported along the extent of spines. One D-class complained of tightness in her chest before coughing up tufts of yellow fur. Another physically recoiled upon physical contact, setting high levels of static electricity. Test 125. D-class in a Pikachu mascot costume with blonde wig and replica of Thor's hammer. No effects. Afterward, removal of member peripheria or cosmetic items does not appear to be first the effects of SCP-5254. A total of 56 D-class were lost to various stages of transformation events before testing was suspended, citing possible breaches to the site's security and power grid. It appears that affinity to the Pokemon brand amplifies SCP-5254's effects. Access Correspondence Preface The following transcripts were taken from the Pokemon Company's web servers after the incident in Yokohama detailing correspondence between the various stakeholders of the Pokemon franchise. Note, these emails have been translated from Japanese. From Kinishima Tatsumi, CEO of Nintendo, to Shinekasu Ishihara, CEO of the Pokemon Company. Date, 13th of April, 2017. Do not ask questions of this survivor wants manpower for his project. Give it to him. Our society will not miss these Bidakumi. Note, the lowest social caste of Japanese society, usually comprised of criminals and the homeless. He, whoever he claims to be, may be charging us a small fortune, but at least he seems genuinely interested in bringing our creations to life. From Ichihara, CEO of the Pokemon Company, to Kimishima, CEO of Nintendo. Date, 23rd of October, 2017. Tuesday will mark the fifth visit by the Fukushima orphanage to our headquarters. I told the press it's part of our global outreach program to spread the joy of Pokemon to the rest of the world. Early results have been positive. I should have a specimen to show you the next time we meet in Tokyo. Your daughter likes Eevees, yes? From Ichihara, CEO of the Pokemon Company, to Kimishima, CEO of Nintendo. Date, 15th of December, 2017. Play anytime, anywhere, with anyone. Yes, the slogan for the Switch is very apt for what we're trying to accomplish. Your marketing team deserves a raise. From John Hankey, CEO Niantic Incorporated. To Ichihara, CEO of the Pokemon Company. Date 12th of March 2018. I am pleased to report Pokemon Go. Note, a mobile game released in 2016 that features augmented reality software has hit 750 million unique downloads in July and 5 million daily average users just last week. The popularity of the franchise continues to grow. Think of the possibilities once we integrate augmented reality technology into the project. A terrier as a clean and efficient form of air transportation. Charizard serving in the self-defense forces. And yes, Pikachu making our reliance on nuclear energy a thing of the past. Soon, Pokemon will come to life before our very eyes. From Kimishima CEO Nintendo to Ichihara, CEO of the Pokemon Company, John Hankey, CEO of Niantic Incorporated. Date 3rd of June 2018. The accidents are growing in number. Are you sure Sir Piper has everything under control? We cannot hide these incidents from the public forever. The MFS Note the Ministry of Fun Suppression. An advertising campaign started by Nintendo in 2004 now posited as an internal branch of the company tasked with containing SCP-5254 instances. 
already has its hand full trying to catch the runaways. If we don't take action soon, more people will get hurt. Or worse, the Pokemon brand will be tarnished forever. From Ishihara, CEO, the Pokemon Company, to Sir Viper, 1995. Date, 13th of December, 2018. You promised Pokemon as pets and companions, not these mutations. I've had to recall thousands of faulty merchandise, with tens of thousands of defective products still circulating in your market. Just what kind of sorcery have you forced upon our hands? The government is breathing down my neck that Tsumi san has made to resign. I'm starting to hear about this foundation poking around. Tell me the truth. Is there any way to reverse the effects? Or have you doomed us all? From Sir Viper, 1995, to Ishihara, CEO, the Pokemon Company, Kimishima, former CEO, Nintendo. Date, 5th of January, 2019. I don't know what to tell you. I've given the people what they want. Only true fans will get a Pokemon of their own. Your company was the very best at building your brand. Congratulations! Today, Pokemon has taken over our hearts and minds. Perhaps one day, we will see them take over the world. From Maki, student, grade 4. To support at nintendo.jp.co. Date, 23rd of December, 2015. Can I have a Pokemon, please? I really like Pikachu. From Mr. Molly, salaryman. To support at nintendo.jp.co Date, 28th of December, 2015 Wouldn't it be nice if I turn into Casey? Please, I need to know what my wife is thinking. Or maybe I could just teleport away when she's angry. <laughs> Raid on Pokemon HQ Forward Three months after the events in Yokohama, the O5 Council authorized a raid on the Pokemon Company offices in Minato City, Tokyo. On June 16th, 2019, citing the high possibility of civilians being held against their will and a potential K-class scenario if the cause of SCP-5254 event was immediately neutralized. The Japanese government has been notified in advance of the raid. Foundation MTF agents were provided with special assault team uniforms to avoid the mass amnestization of public witnesses. The following audiovisual footage is captured from the body cam of MTF Upsilon 11 team leader Fox One. Camera looks down on a nondescript glass building in the middle of a Tokyo suburb. Fox One raises three fingers to the rest of his squad in the chopper, which touches down on the roof. Soon after, multiple MTF squads disembark, quickly covering the area. Status report. Civilian evacuation in the lower levels in progress. There's a huge Pokemon Center in the first floor that's still filled with tourists. Quarantine for infection, then rendezvous at coordinates. Roger. Alright, you heard the man. Get those Poké Fanatics out of here. The MTF stack up against the fire exit on the roof. The door unlocking easily, the team heads down the stairwell, approaching a set of double steel doors on a lower level. Fox One gestures to breach. Smoke canisters are tossed in, followed by a flashbang grenade. Just as the MTF members are about to storm in, however, there is a metallic clank on the other end of the hall, followed by the sound of heavy thudding footsteps. The MTF frees as a creature at least two meters tall emerges from the smoke. It has own skin, an elongated snout, and vast wings on either side of the back. It roars straight at the camera. What the frick is that? Engage! Engage! MTF squad members at the front screen as they're lit aflame by the combustible liquid emitted from the creature's mouth. The rest of the MTF open fire and infantry down the creature. As the smoke clears, the falling carcass of the dragon-like entity lies slumped over in the middle of the hallway, leading from various bullet holes. Clear! Proceed to lower levels! The MTF passes more and more hallways. Pogon posters line the walls with slogans like Prepare for trouble 
and make it double. And to catch them is my real test, and to train them is my cause. With the occasional person in a white coat detained as they emerge from the doorway. Makes you wonder what kind of crap they've been hiding down here. Quiet! Eyes front! The MTF stack up against another set of double steel doors. This time, Fox One gestures for explosives before the squad takes cover behind a turn in the corridor. Weapons free! Shoot anything that looks funny! There's a loud bang as the doors fly open. Screams are heard from within the room as the MTF stand for target through the smoke. As smoke clears, however, the interior is brightly lit and filled with colorful drawings, toys scattered on the floor, and rows of metal cages set against the walls. Box One gestures to his squad to take point, before following after. The MTF clears the area, as Fox 1 follows Fox 2 to the far end of the room. Good God! The creatures within the cages are at various stages of SCP-5254 transformation, the most advanced being a Vulpix with engorged eye sockets, her eyelashes flashing rapidly as blood flows down both her cheeks. Another cage contains a boy with his cheekbones protruding too high and sideways, pouring chopped skin over the rest of his face. As Fox One walks down the line, a large bear-like creature slams into his cage, gripping the metal bars with a set of serrated claws, with alternate fingers peeling and at various stages of decomposition. At the far end, a young girl slumped in the corner, weeping. Her tongue has been extended, bland and engorged, pooling on the floor at her feet. Next to her, it's an elongated body of a snake, writhing back and forth. Upon close inspection, it has the head of a toddler, bawling. Fox, then. I think we found the kids. Requesting immediate medical pickup. Copy. Any sign of POI 5254? No. Only his handiwork. We're seizing electronic surface as evidence. Fox 2 throws up in the corner of the room. <laughs> Screw this crap. Fox 1 doesn't reprimand him. Merely nods. Just as for the rest of the team to open the cages. Afterward, the CEO of the Pokemon Company, Mr. Ishihara, was detained on the way to the helipad on the rooftop. He claims to have no knowledge of these experiments discovered in the building. Interview with Ishihara Forward Interview conducted by Agent Hakase in Site 81J Transcript of the conversation has been translated from Japanese. How dare you keep me here! Do you know who I am? We know exactly who you are, Ichihara-san. We also know what you, John Hanke, and Kimishima-san have been up to these past few years. Then you know how important it is for me to get back. I can't stay here. You are referring to this situation caused by Sir Viper, yes? Can you tell us about him? Nothing. We communicated remotely from this lab. He came highly recommended from an industry contact, said he could help us with our problem. And what problem was that? Mr. Hishihara hesitates. You must understand, we had the purest of intentions. We wanted people to enjoy the company of Pokemon in the real world, and make a tidy profit in the process, I'm sure. Is that why you unleashed a lizard on us in the building? We thought we were under attack. Sir Viper claimed to have worked with our competitors in the past, like Square Enix and Bandai. Note, preliminary investigations have begun into prevalence of SCP-5254 instances in the Final Fantasy and Digimon franchises. So he also helped us with the automatic defense systems. Sounds like this Sir Viper 1995 offered you multiple services. How did he do it, Shihara-san? How did he bring Pokemon to life? Mr. Ichihara shakes his head. We didn't ask too many questions. When he found out what he was doing to the children, we terminated his contract immediately. 
but the damage had been done. Later, we discovered he had already tampered with all production lines and distribution infrastructure. At this point, it's impossible to tell which products have been affected on the market. And where's the Viper now? We have not spoken in years. And what about those kids we found in your building? You really expect us to believe you're still not working together. You have to believe me. We have housed those children for the past two years. We've kept them as our guests, our very own Pokemon family. Yes, in the past, they have been part of some misguided experiment. But ever since Survivor disappeared, we have tried to give them a home, shelter, even tried to reverse some of their effects. You really call what you're doing helping? You exploited the vulnerability for the sake of profits, and now you want us to believe you want to help them. Mr. Isihara is silent as he looks down. We deserve death what we've done, yes, but allow us to make things right. Please, we have already made attempts to contain the spread of the disease. Agent Hakase considers. At this point, shutting you down would draw more attention to you to public than it's worth. I will speak to my supervisors on the best course of action. I understand. We will cooperate for the sake of the company. Final note. Foundation agents have been embedded in the Pokemon Company's infrastructure to suppress the popularity of the franchise. One such operation was the release of the video game Pokemon Sword and Shield, with the limited number of Pokemon, which caused outrage amongst fans in 2019. An upcoming World Festival, set around a dragon-type Pokemon Gyarados, has also been disrupted by MTF agents, as were plans by the Japanese government to decorate local buses and trains with Pikachu-themed body parts for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Global coordination attempts are ongoing between the Foundation, the Pokemon Company, Nintendo and Niantic to determine a more permanent solution to SCP-5254 events. The identity of Survivor 1995-POI-5254 is undergoing investigation. Attempts to probe his mail server have been met with an automated response on repeat. Happy hunting! Even you can't catch them all.